Hello viewers, today we will talk about Kubernetes pods, what is node, what is containers. So we will see everything about each component of Kubernetes today and we will see the difference between nodes, pods, container, Kubernetes, etc. So what is container? Containers are enable developers to package up an application with all of its required parts and ships it out as, in, as one standard lightweight secure package. This gives DevOps team peace of mind knowing that the application they are building and supporting will run properly in any environment whether a virtual machine bare metal or on the cloud the containers essentially eradicate the works on my machine problem inherent with monolithic applications so what are kubernetes node nodes in kubernetes can be described as the smallest unit of computing power they are a collection of CPU and memory resources used by the tool to run processes nodes are usually available in clusters and aliens group of nodes that can distinguish workloads among their component nodes to increase efficiency while you can manage node independently it is suggested to manage them via clusters to enhance performance individual nodes can be virtual machine or physical hardware depending upon the system requirements they house the pods with which run containerized application inside them an entity called master manages the nodes by accessing the available resources and changing allocations as needed node nodes communicate with the master via kubelet and interface meant for this purpose. Each Kubernetes nodes run at least one container runtime inside it. This runtime takes care of managing the individual containers and pulling them from the repositories or registries as needed. Now we have seen nodes. Let's see what is Kubernetes pods. So pod replicate a logical host of containers that are light, tightly coupled with each other. Although they can host multiple containers together, limiting the number of containers in one pod to a minimum is advised. This is because pods are meant to be scaled up and down quickly and each container in the pod is scaled with its irrespective of its requirement. Pods are the smallest independent deployable unit in Kubernetes. The Kubernetes engine replicate or shut down entire pods at once based on the available resources and incoming workloads. Even when there is no high demand, multiple nodes are run with the same pods for redundancy as far as the resources are available. You can see uh, one node can have multiple pods and one pod can have more than one containers. What is cluster? A cluster is a cent central to the basic architecture of Kubernetes. If you are running Kubernetes, you are running at least one cluster. Literally, there is no such thing as Kubernetes deployment without a cluster. The cluster is sort of like a central nervous system for your applications. Over there, Vampati explains it is a kind of a motherboard or a circuit board powering your application. The cluster is, is a board that provides the circuitry to, the, to run all the pods which have the container instance in them in an orchestrated manner as defined by the users. So there is symbolic relationship between these terms. Containers has pods and that has cluster. Container pods and clusters. So there is symbolic relation. A container runs logically in a pod. Through this use, it also uses a container runtime. A group of pods related or unrelated run on a cluster. A pod is a unit of replication on a cluster. A cluster can contain many pods related or unrelated and are grouped under the tight logical borders called namespaces. So what is the difference between Kubernetes nodes versus cluster? A node is the smallest element of a cluster. A cluster is a com compromised nodes. The cluster is a collective that shares overall execution of a pod. Nodes pull their individual resources together to form a powerful machine or cluster. When an application is deployed on a cluster, Kubernetes automatically disrupts workload across individual nodes. If nodes are added or removed, the cluster will then redistribute work. What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open source software that helps in deployment and scaling of containerized application. This is possible by grouping containers into logical units which are easier to discover and manage. Primarily, Kubernetes features include uh, storage orchestration, batch execution, load balancing and automated rollout and rollbacks. Kubernetes perform all these roles using Kubernetes containers, Kubernetes nodes and Kubernetes pods. Once pods are created, Kubernetes assign them to one or more nodes in the cluster and ensures the correct number of replica pods are running. Kubernetes scan the cluster to ensure each set of pods is running as specified. Now let's see the difference between containers, pods and nodes. A Kubernetes container is software that contains all the dependencies, tools, settings and system libraries required to run a particular application. Kubernetes pods on the other hand is a group of application containers with unique port image, image version and cluster IP address. The pod can act as a logical host for a specific application. Kubernetes nodes are responsible for running pods. Kubernetes nodes can be virtual or a physical um, machine that managed by a control panel. The, the Kubernetes nodes plane 
act as a container orchestration layer and exposes interface and APIs. So how does Kubernetes nodes work? Kubernetes nodes are responsible for running pods. These pods can contain one or more container depending on the Kubernetes cluster. A node can be either a physical or a virtual machine. A Kubernetes cluster is composed of a group of workers nodes for running containerized application. Kubernetes nodes have the following components. The kubelet of for managing containers and pods running in a host machine, a container runtime for downloading con containers from the registry, and the queue proxy for maintaining network rules. How Kubernetes work? The Kubernetes pods work. Pods can contain in it, init containers which are initialized during a startup, and init container is unique because it must be complicated completed successfully before other containers are executed. If the init containers fail, the kubelet will restart it repeatedly until it runs to completion. All the ports can accommodate multiple containers. One containers per pod is most often the case. Nevertheless, tight coupled containers on the same pod can still communicate quickly because they are similar network port, IP address and network namespace. This functionality supports an application lifecycle by ensuring access to the required resources. So, uh, Continuing the difference between ports and nodes, uh, ports are uh, ports are uh, abstraction of executable code. Nodes are abstraction of computer hardware. So the comparison is a bit appeals and orange. Ports are simply the smallest unit of execution in Kubernetes, consisting of one or more containers, each with one or more application and its binaries. Nodes are the physical servers or VMs that comprise the Kubernetes cluster. Nodes are interchangeable and typically not accessible individually by users or IT, other than when maintenance is required. So how these nodes, pods, and containers work with each other? While the three terms might sound a little confusing, they have a little distinct roles in Kubernetes. Here is a quick list to understand this. Containers are packaged of application and execution environments. Pods are collection of closely related or tightly coupled containers. Nodes are computing resources that house pods to execute workloads. A container bundles codes and dependencies into one standard unit of software called a container image. The container image isolates code from the environment, allowing the application to run consistently regardless of infrastructure or computing environments. Pods, the first layer of Kubernetes uh, native abstr abstraction, a pod is a way to bundle up and package containers into one logical grouping that represents a process in your cluster. A pods can have one or more containers that will all share the same environment. So what is a node? A node is the actual machine your pods are running on. They can be bare metal or virtual machines. What is cluster? Cluster is a grouping of and management of abstraction of nodes. Uh, all of the orchestration and networking magic happens at the cluster level. So in summary, we can say to summarize, nodes uh, represent physical or virtual machine that provide CPU and RAM resource to the container based application. Nodes are grouped together into cluster and finally uh, instead of managing containers individually, Kubernetes contains uh, containers are housed into pods for scheduling and execution. Pods are the unit of replication. So thank you so much for watching video and if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.